uh, uh, Sonny, I know it is in the spirit of Erico, but uh, we are also using supporting to clear a lot of airs. Uh, first, let me, let me ask you a point blank question. Uh, you coach the national team. If the opportunity arises again, will you do that? If you're asked to come and coach the national <laughs> team again, will you do it? Look, I've been married to an extremely beautiful woman for the past 26 years. Afida Bulaba. And I am enjoying every minute living with her now. I am enjoying every minute being at home. So, uh, I don't think I want to change that. And my kids are making me happy. Um, so, I think, I don't, I don't want to give the right answer to that question, but I think you understand what I mean. So, <laughs> but on the other hand, um, I would also like to clear something because uh, I hear some people say, ah, um, the sun is this, sun is that. I, all through the years I played in Super Eagles and all through my playing career, I cherish my privacy so much, I guide it religiously. Of all my colleagues, there is only one colleague that I can tell you that knows Sunday Reason. And that is Tijani Babandira. He's the only one that I've gone to his I go to his house, he comes to my place. Because you're in Ajax, because you are in Ajax, you are in Ajax together. <laughs> he was my roommate at Ajax day in, day out, every time. And and until today, to today, if I need something about Nigeria, I know his teacher will talk to. If TJ needs something, then it will come and we'll talk about it. He's the only player of the Osuka Eagles that knows Sunday Reason. No other Osuka Eagles player can tell you he went to party with me once. No other Osuka Eagles player will tell you he went to a discotheque with me once. Or no other Super Eagles player will tell you that we, we ran after women together. It's not possible. Because I was always I always keep to myself. So when I hear people give opinions about me, when they don't even know me, I, I, I just laugh and I say, how can you say Sunday is this, Sunday is that? You don't know me. I don't... I have, I have, it's only my close friends who know me. Or maybe Dosu Joseph, that we grew up together as kids. So it is even... Um, if you ask, just ask my colleagues, Finney the George and all of them, ask them if they've ever been to my place. No. When we're in the camp, I don't go to other people's rooms. I stay in my room. I come to serve Nigeria, we play, we go. It's not because I don't want to, but it's because one has to handle himself in that way. You know? It, one thing that I should also say is that for Nigeria itself, a lot of ex-soccer players are suffering today. Why is that so? It is not their fault. When I played at the Super Eagles, huh, I played with probably the most generous players, the most generous Nigerians I ever knew. Every time we played games, Super Eagles players, all their bonuses, nobody ever flies away out of Nigeria with it. They use it to solve family problems and friends' problems. The lobbies of the hotel was always crowded of people because the Super Eagles players were always taking care of family problems. So when I see people now try to laugh at, at, my, at the ex-colleagues, it is unfair. At the same time also, they loved Nigeria. And if you look around Europe here, the football industry absorbs ex-players in different magnitude, different degrees. And most ex-players go back to their countries and they go into the leagues, maybe the first, second, the third, or they go to development football, or they go into local football. When I was growing up, we had Badagri League, we had Lafa League, we had the National League, we had the Super League, we had a national team. This had so many clubs and so many avenues for players to play, and it reabsorbed ex-players to continue working in the job they know till they grow old. All that is dead now. So when a player stops football at 32, 33, please tell me what he's supposed to do till he gets to 70. When our local league is not functioning, even when the players, uh, ex-players get a job, they don't get paid. The National League is not functioning. The Youth League is not functioning. We now have academies instead of clubs. So, you see, it is easy to always attack individuals. I understand it. In life, when you have no arguments against somebody, you attack their character. Yeah, is this, is this, is that. How can you be vilifying somebody because he's principled and you celebrate people who are embezzling our country's money? 